What is up everybody? Bub back with another video. So today we're taking a look at uh, Little Cup Are You uh, tournament that I decided to play in. This is my round one set versus Raichi. They have a really cool custom have. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So I know I've been doing a lot of these analytical kind of videos. Um, I don't really plan to do a ton more. I was just watching Hunter x Hunter when I played this set, so with my girlfriend. So I, I didn't like record live audio, but yeah, let's get right into it. <clears throat> so I brought Trick Room and um, I set it up turn one and I got flinched, which is really unfortunate because if I didn't get flinched there, I set up Trick Room and then I'm able to just kill him this turn. So he gets Trick Room for free, ends up being Sash, so it didn't matter. However, he does get more Iron Head Chip, so I feel like I'm better off just cursing and Letting Poltergeist to go down, so <clears throat> I did. I do feel like that that flinch was very unfortunate for me, but that's all right. So I decided to go out into Cranidos here. Edgequake, just super strong. Then we have Zen Headbutt for Ekans, so looks really strong into his team. And yeah, they go ahead and Sucker Punch, and they are revealed to be Zorua. So that was really unfortunate. We're Life Orb, so we can't take another Sucker Punch like that. So we switched to Sobble. And we... Quick Surf. Okay, yeah. So, I'm not super familiar with this meta. I didn't practice as much as I should. And this thing, this Nimble, this thing is a massive threat. Massive, massive threat. It does so much damage. Like, it just smokes. It just smokes everything. And Life Orb, too. Like, I had to play really, really smart around it. And it was just... Even then, it was really rough. So, real Growlithe comes out. I sat Kranidos to a Flare Blitz. Sorry if I sound a little out of breath, I just got done working out. Um, so yeah, I go into Hatena to hopefully get Trick Room back up. Um, we do get two KO'd. But it wasn't something I was super worried about. I wanted to Dazzling Gleam just to... I don't know why I did that actually. But I did. <laughs> um, yeah, so I missed Play Rough. Really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. Because that basically guarantees I lose the game just because I don't have enough resources. Um, because if I was able to two hit KO the Squirtle, I could have had enough HP on Frigibax to potentially win. Um, but it just didn't work out like that. So yeah, they get more chip on Cuffin, and that puts it in range of Nimble. Very unfortunate. <clears throat> and I end up losing the first game. Spoiler alert. So yeah, exactly. And I get a KO to end it out, but yeah. Ekans just comes out and revenges me. Oh no, I died it. I died a life orb, right? So, game two. I'm like, alright, screw that trick room. I'm using the first ever team I built uh, in LCRU. And I'm like, you know what? Let's run it. So yeah, he gets rocks. I get rocks. Rapid spin. Like, that's completely fine. He's just taking rough skin chip for no reason. We dragon tail him out. I don't know what item he is, because he's clearly not Eevee Light. He would not have taken that much with Eevee Light. So he gets spikes up. That's fine by me. I have a spinner in the back. Gimme Ghoul comes out. <laughs> back into Pineco to sack. Weasel's here. I expect a ice move. Perfect. If they were smart, they would have flipped turn there, but they're not. <clears throat> I expected the Gimme Ghoul, so I Brave Birded. And then, yeah, I was able to just... Get the jet, and now I'm at plus one. And what does this team like want to do to deal with me? Like, uh... Joltik comes out. Takes rocks. I Terra Dragon on the Giga Drain. Get the spin off. And now I'm at uh, I'm at plus one attack, plus one speed. Kill the Joltik. Plus two attack, plus one speed. I'm really liking this position for myself. So right here, I overthought it. I'm like, okay, why is this coming out? Is it going to Terra? Is it what? I should have just Aqua Jetted, but he, uh, I, I overthought it. I'm like, oh, he's going to Terra. I forgot about Sucker Punch, and yeah. So yeah, we are able to take out Houndor here, which is really nice. Houndor is a very big threat. I don't know why he's physical. Like, Sucker Punch on special is fine. So for some reason, he went into Bag On and then, like, doubled out. is very strange. The crit on Gibble probably didn't matter there, I don't think. Um, I was doing some calking here, um, I always lived, uh, like, I, I didn't know if I wanted to start setting up on this, but I just decided not to. This was a little bit unfortunate, it was very scary, actually. 
is very, very scary. He outrages, which was fine with me, because I was able to go into Graveyard, and he's not doing any type of damage, even at plus one. And I'm, I'm able to just yawn into Memento. The hit and confusion really didn't matter, because I was always going out in the Hound Orange killing this anyways. So yeah, that's game two. And I'm like, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I brought the same team. Um, I brought the same team that I brought uh, game two to game three. And he also said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And brought his team from game one to game three. So we both are playing with open team sheets right now. And one thing I will say is a Lonelyn Diglett is not allowed in this format. He, if he won the set, oh, well, spoilers. If he won the set, he would have got disqualified for using that anyways. But uh, yeah, let's see how we won this game. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, we do the, we do the shaking hands of the rocks again. I'm perfectly okay with it. I just, I just click earthquake cause why not? I'm perfectly fine with giving this up. Um, I go into Quaxley to hopefully get a cheeky rapid spin and then I'm like, whoa, that did a lot of damage. So I just take him out. I was a little bit scared of, uh, of a roll there. Um, I was not expecting that to do so much damage. And then I did not like how much this thing does to me either. So I just got into graveyard. He goes ahead and leech lifes. It's perfectly fine. I was expecting first impression, so that was very surprising. He U turns out, takes more life orb chip. In comes Growlithe on a yawn. And then I call the U turn, or them switching. And that's real Growlithe now. That was uh, the Zoro before. And I pain split it on there on them switching. Houndor comes out on the flame charge, because I'm, I'm that guy basically. And I Dark Pulse, get a flinch, and he's like, oh, rip the close combat. <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, like, after the hacks in game one, like, and then this was, like, a relatively fair game. Like, they hit themselves in confusion once, but it literally didn't matter because I was going to yawn them anyways. And Memento and just kill them with my stuff. So the only hacks that mattered were the hacks in this game where they got rocks for free, basically, because they flinched me. And then, um... Like, we were able to position way better. And then I think something else happened. They crit or something. I don't remember. But yeah. Oh, no, no. I missed play rough. So yeah. Those, that mattered. And this flinch definitely mattered. But uh, you, you'll see why I'm bringing that up in a second. Because I think the hacks was about, about even, to be honest. I think it was actually very even. So yeah. I'm able to uh, give him a lot of chip between, you know, rocks, rough skin, life orb. And then I'm going to endure. He doesn't get enough back to really offset how much he's taking from all that. And he's taking even more. Even more. So Nimble's basically dead at this point. I go out into Quaxley to Aqua Jet, but I think I spin. No, I, I Aqua Jet. I'm not that guy, I think. Ekans comes out. I think it can't kill me, so I just uh, rapid spin there. But then it turns out it could kill me, and that was very bad. Um, I go into Chingling here, and I commit Terra because I expected a knockoff. And I just started uh, setting up with Cosmic Power. This Pokemon is extremely dishonest. <laughs> very, very dishonest Pokemon. But uh, yeah, we're using it. So I expected a U-turn and I attacked here. Or I expected them to switch, rather. Oh, I didn't. I'm ass. I'm really bad. So yeah, they, they set up. I hit them with the Charge Beam. And at this point, I'm like, well, that did literally zero damage. And they're probably going to kill me with Hydro. So I'm like, all right, I might lose this game. And then they had Surf and not Hydro, so this is what you get for not being greedy, <laughs> I guess. Chingling is like really well set up, but we do get revenged here by Ekans, unfortunately. I was hoping it wouldn't be max speed or something, but uh, unlucky. We just hit a Fire Blast on the Ekans. Turns out it was Zorua, so probably super killed Chingling. Ekans comes out. Terra Dragon. Could have been really bad for me, um, but I think I just have enough resources in the back to where it doesn't matter much. If it was like Coil Trailblaze, it could have been really bad. But uh, yeah, he just doesn't have enough resources to win the game at this point, and we, we end up winning. Joltik comes out to Bug Buzz, and he said, yeah, I won without flinch, it seems. I said, GG. He said, GG's, I guess. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. You literally got lucky in the first game. I got lucky in the third game. It all evens out. Plus, you would have lost anyways because you used an illegal Pokemon, so get rolled, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with round two of Little Kabaryu. It's a pretty cool and unique tier, and the people who run it, some of them are really cool, some of them are very cringe. But uh, yeah, uh, see ya.